Righto, Taliedi champs. Yes, it's gone. Gone in 60 seconds. That sounds like my sex life. Um, yeah, it sold really quick actually. But in this video, I'm going to tell you why I sold my XPS 15. Going to give you my long term review of the XPS 15. Also, we're going to talk about the new XPS 15. So I guess maybe you can figure out why I sold it. But anyway, let's crack on and do it. So first of all, why am I selling it? Well, there's a new XPS 15 due out at the end of this month. Well, apparently according to Dell's leaked roadmap. Now, if you haven't heard already, there's some sort of plague going around. And yes, you know what it is, Corona. And this may affect a lot of things. So, you know, release dates of laptops. I can see affecting, you know, prices of laptops and just like short supply of just components that you need to make laptops as well. So I am taking a bit of risk selling this considering that you know maybe delayed a few months the next xps 15 but we think it's coming out at the end of this month so i thought i'd sell it now now i'm a small channel hey come on sub up you can join my patreon you can donate i'd love to keep these laptops but the economic reality is i've got to sell this so i can get the next one because of course i'm going to buy the next one you know it so sub up because no one's going to review the next xps 15 quite like me and just look at my past videos on xps 15 you know it put a thumbs up if you agree so so if you just bought one don't panic <laughs> you bought a great laptop it's gonna last you for years and i still recommend you buy them now actually a lot of laptops are going out on clearance so you know there are new models imminent and usually the advice would be wait till the next one comes out especially when it's so close to launch because even if you're not going to buy the next xps 15 or whatever laptop usually that means the preceding model goes out on a discount and you can save like hundreds of dollars things may be different with this coronavirus given that the new models might be in short supply and, and even the current models the price might go up just because of supply and demand so if you can pick up a deal on the xps 15 still recommend them today but i have sold mine and for what it's worth i picked mine up on a discount so i paid about 3800 australian for it i got a like a thousand dollar discount on that and that was the maxed out version i9 you know 32 gigs ram 4k led touch and i sold it for around 2800 so i lost about a thousand australian dollars which is what is it six seven hundred us or you know around the same amount of pounds actually when i compare it to what i sell the macbook pros for when i sell them not that much difference in the sale value but i will say one thing with the max you can sell them for years when they're two years old they still got good value whereas with the xps 15 when the new model comes out the value of the outgoing model it just drops like a stone whereas the, you know the max even if it's two models old it still retains you know significantly more than say its pc counterparts so my long-term review on it i had it for ages and made loads of video on it i've taken this laptop away like i game with it i game mostly PUBG, um civilization 6 and football manager they're mostly the games i play and for those sort of games no problem whatsoever i mean i've got loads of gaming reviews if you want to check them out yeah some games you know say like battlefield it's not a gaming laptop I've said it a hundred times before but it can still game if you hit the gpu and cpu at once depending on which game it is you may get some power limit throttling a bit of you know thermal throttling for its intended purpose of you know video editing you're not going to hit the gpu and cpu 100 percent like sort of like gaming will i mean it doesn't hit 100 percent, but you know it's close to it really hits the gpu and cpu hard whereas you know video editing doesn't do that it has done everything i've wanted never had an issue now i will say one thing i get a lot of people in the comments saying yes thank you for recommending this laptop it's been the best laptop of so many great comments and they overwhelmingly outnumber the negative comments of you know i had a problem i had to return 10 of them some of them I, I can't believe like some of these comments i get but anyway most of the comments are positive but i think some of the negative comments i get are just people using the factory image now i never used the factory image and i've made like advanced setup tutorials on what to do when you get a new laptop i wipe them i wipe the laptops completely i start with a fresh copy of windows from microsoft i just download the key drivers from dell and everything else i control myself so it's like a clean image and i never have any issues of crashing blue screens anything like that the only blue screens i get is when i undervolt too aggressively and stuff like that so that happens when you undervolt but other than that never miss the beat i must be the luckiest guy when it comes to xps 15 because i do get negative comments in there saying 
oh, DPC latency and coil wine and things that they've had issues with. I've had loads of XPS 15s. I've had over 20 cross my path from people that I recommended them to, to, you know, review units, to like I've had multiple units ever since the 9550 from 2015. I've had every model and none of them had any issues. The only minor issue I've had on one of my friends, he had a full HD model and it had a little issue with the bezel and they just replaced the screen and boom, that was it. Other than that, never one issue with an XPS 15. Again, I will say, of course, fresh install of Windows. A lot of issues that people have, it's because some stupid driver or something like that. And Windows controls most of that. I don't have those sort of issues. Even with DPC latency, I've recorded heaps of stuff into the XPS 15, no issues whatsoever. So I've got to say, every XPS 15 has handled everything I can throw at it. I really push them hard. I've made lots of videos on them. The display is amazing. It's got all the ports you want. And for content creation, it's a powerhouse. And it's sexy too. Like, even though it's a 215 design, it doesn't look out of date because it was ahead of its time. So even now, if you look at the Macs, they still don't have the bezels that the XPS 15 had from 2015. And that's one of the major reasons I like it. I prefer this over an Aero because I don't like the Aero's design. I don't like its keyboard trackpad's not the best. And it's got the power. Awesome display in that. But, you know, I just want something that's more, you know, aesthetically pleasing has better battery life these have great battery life class leading it's just been an amazing laptop so what are the downsides one i do want that white deck you get on the xps 13 please give me an xps 15 the next one with a white deck please i don't like the grubby sort of finger marks you get or fingerprints on the deck yeah it's just grubby and i have to clean all the time looks good in all my videos because i clean it but um the reality is it looks grubby most of the time the speakers aren't the best gotta say they need to do improvement on speakers with the next model. The keyboard, the keyboard's good. I like it, but the keys feel small. When I go from the Mac to the XPS 15, I feel that the keys are small because the Mac's keys are quite big. I've just noticed that recently. It's just, yeah, it's weird. Other than that, there's no real cons to it. Can't highly recommend these laptops enough. So what about the next one? What are we expecting with the next one? Well, of course, Intel's 10th generation CPUs, we've seen loads of benchmarks coming out. They don't seem to be a big improvement over the ninth generations. We'll wait and see, but yeah, I don't think there's a big deal. You're not getting an extra two cores. It seems to be eight cores is the maximum. Even with the 10th generation CPUs, they are 100% 14 nanometer, so you're not getting 10 nanometer or anything like that. You're not getting better internal graphics. CPU-wise, it won't be that much faster than the current XPS 15, but Graphics-wise, I think it'll get a 1650 Super. And the 1650 Super will have 6 gigabytes of RAM. Not only that, it'll have DDR6. So there should be a significant uplift in performance for the GPU. Having the extra 2 gigabytes of video memory, also having GDDR6 and being a super, it should have better performance. It should perform more like a 1660, somewhere around there. And we've got to face it now, with the competition, even with the MacBook Pro, you can get eight gigabytes of video memory with the Radeon Pro 5500. If you wanted to compare it to the gaming laptops, they all have six to eight gigabytes of video memory. It's about time we go up to that six gigabytes of video memory with the XPS 15. So should be a bit better in the graphics department hopefully it's a new design we need a new design come on 2015 not that it looks out of date as i've discussed before but we just need a new design hopefully it's got that white deck just like the xps 13 but bigger will it go 16 by 10 oh i'd love it if it did oh i'd love it so much but i don't think so because there's not that many display options. If you want to go OLED or one of those 4K panels, there's plenty of those 15 inch 16 by 9 displays going around. It's really hard to get, you know, a 16 by 10 or 3 by 2 display. You have to pay more. Mini LED, that's a thing and that is coming. I don't think it'll be ready for this model. I reckon that'll be at the end of the year and those mini LED displays, their HDR, those mini LED displays are going to be amazing. Will it be ready for, you know, the end of this month? I don't think so. End of the year, probably a little bit of a refresh maybe before Christmas. So if that's the case and the next XPS 15 comes out like that, I'm sort of torn because I want to wait for a mini LED display because at the end of the day, I'm 10th generation CPUs, you know, ninth generation is fast enough. The graphics, yes, that'll be an uplift, but really, I want a new design and a new display. 
And I want more Thunderbolt ports. Please two Thunderbolt ports and two M.2 drives. I really want that in the next XPS 15. And if it does all those things, if it ticks all those boxes, better GPU, mini LED at the end of the year, or at least, you know, it's going to have the OLED panel. I, I think that's nailed on. That's very popular. I don't think there's a new OLED panel out yet. So maybe at the end of the year, but I don't expect a new one in March. Port wise, it'll be very interesting if it is a new design, what they do with the ports. Will they keep the SD card reader? Will they keep USB Type A? To be perfectly honest, I hope they drop the HDMI, put a HDMI dongle in there, have one USB Type A, two Thunderbolt 3s, and an SD card reader. That'll be the perfect I.O. for me. So yeah, are you excited about the next XPS 15 coming out very soon? Can't wait to have a look at it. Subscribe because I will cover it like no one else. Be interested to know what happens. Let me know down there in the description what you think the specs will be and what you want. And look, you can put down there you want a RTX 2060 or a 1660. It ain't happening. It's going to stay in that sort of 130 watt package. So they're not going to go high with the XPS 15. They're not going to put gaming specs in it. It's not a gaming laptop. I just don't think it will be. So anyway, catch you in the next one. Tally ho.